All right, well, welcome back, everyone. After quite a while, we uh, find ourselves in my room where I've got the oil change for the cross track ready. I've got some Liquid Molly Molly Gen, the green oil, 0W20 weight, the OEM filter for it, part number there. Um, I've also got some Jectron to clean up the fuel system and Proline engine flush to clean out the engine before changing the oil. I've also got the sockets ready, 17 millimeter uh, with a small extension and torque spec on that drain put on the drain plug is 31 foot pounds so i've already got all of that ready it's a rainy day so i kind of want to have this efficiently as possible so let's get this started i'm really excited about trying liqui molly i've i've been going crazy a lot of people that i know in bars and in, in in like in my life know that i'm going crazy about liqui molly sorry to interrupt this is liam um i want to confirm he has been going absolutely insane about Liquid Molly. He won't stop talking about it, and it's a problem. So, uh, please send help now. Uh, thanks. Bye. Right now, just, just, I just want to try it. I'm, I'm there, really interested. <laughs> All right, well guys, as I said, it is raining outside. I've already got the ramps kind of set up, but this is the first step here. Also the 944, I drove it last night. I love it. I'm so happy it's back. I'm gonna do some videos on it soon, um, but I'm I'm just ecstatic. I had, to, I had to pause for a minute. But anyway, the Proline engine flush is the first step. First, you got to put this in, basically let your car idle for 10, 15 minutes. This basically cleans your entire engine, like with detergents and stuff like that. And, uh, then you drain everything out and change the oil. So that's the first step. We're gonna put it in the cross trek right now. And uh, woo, let's fill in the mud. All right, guys, now this entire container can uh, treats up to, let's see, eight tenths of a gallon to 1.3 gallons. So a little bit less than four quarts to a little bit over than four quarts um, of oil. So basically for me and the cross truck, dump this whole thing in, let it idle 15, 10, 15 minutes. Uh, it'll clean the engine entirely and we will empty the oil and uh, put the new in. Now, like I was saying inside, I've been going a bit crazy about all the Liqui Molly products recently, and everyone that I know uh, in my life will know and can attest to I've been going crazy about it. Um, all their stuff is made in Germany. Really, the whole company is about quality and customer service and customer satisfaction. Um, they also have some really cool products, and, and they it, it just seems like they really know what they're doing. This stuff is also kind of like a, a reddish tint almost. I thought I should have. This video is not sponsored by Liquid Molly, but that'd be awesome. If you guys wanna, ooh, don't want that to go anywhere. If you guys wanna do that, let's go ahead and pour her on in here. Good old Proline engine flush going in the cross track. Okay, never mind, it's like a yellow. Now this, as I said, will essentially clean all the deposits, all just all the junk out of the engine. Um, it's basically like a hyper clean. You don't want to leave this in your engine. I think it's kind of like seafoam, uh, where it just basically cleans your engine right before an oil change. So this this is kind of the equivalent to seafoam, I do believe. Make sure it's all in there. It's it's not like gloopy or anything. It's it's a it's definitely a liquid. It's not like you know. You have to try to get it out of there but uh yeah it's all in there now so let's go ahead and throw this cap back on now i got all this stuff from mainly from fcp euro uh advance can also get it from from certain stores certain certain places can get it uh typically whatever advance you go to can order it from from a, another store if if your store is not one that carries it like readily like this stuff uh, i believe every advance carries a couple of the additives but not this this i had to order from a, from a different store so now that that's in there we're going to cold start the engine i'm going to drive it over there you don't have to drive it but uh basically cold start 10 15 minutes it should clean up the entire engine now the weather has recently got extremely nice out i mean it's raining but it's it's warm which is amazing Good old engine flush circulate in there. Now, with the cross truck, they've got this little coolant temperature light here. Uh, if it's if it's blue, it means it's cold. If it's off, it means it's normal running temperature. If it's red, that means you're overheating. So I always wait until that blue light goes off before I drive anywhere. Um, just because I like to let my cars warm up. I know some people have a very like certain opinion about that. I just let it do it because I don't I don't know. I just feel like it's right. Um, anyway. <laughs> So once this thing warms up, we're gonna pull it over there to the ramps, 
pull it up on and we will start to be good old oil change. All right, well guys, there's the Proline engine flush, uh, the Amsoil XL boosted, and a couple other different brands of oil I put in to top it off since I changed it last, all coming out. I did get my hand a little, a little moist, but uh, that'll be all right, it's expected. Is that all? Dang, it's almost done already, all right. Cool, next time for the removal of the filter. All right now guys, while we're waiting for the little dribbles of oil to finish draining out of that, I wanna talk a little bit about this Molly gen. So this oil is actually green. Um, that is so that you can see external engine leaks with a UV light. Um, it also has like, from what I understand, pretty much every additive that Liquid Molly offers for motor oil inside of it already mixed together. So you do not want to add any motor oil additives to this. Um, I've, I actually bought a couple before I knew that, so now I've just kind of got them. But um, I'm still going to use this Ejectron because this is for the fuel system, for like the injectors and stuff. Um, it's nothing to do with the oil. So whenever you buy Molly Gen, don't put any additives extra on top of this because this is already like perfect. That's already a complete package. I know you're gonna use that. I know you want to use it. I'm sorry. Don't use it. <laughs> All right, so guys, we got the nice new Subaru OEM filter to replace the Pure Leader Boss. Um, so now let's dip some oil on the seal on this to lube it up before putting it on, which means cracking this boy open for the first time. And I don't know how to do that. I think you probably pull that and that, and you just pull up. Well, I'm actually have to put the camera. You guys still see? No, yes. All right, you know what? We're going to go over here. This is going to be the angle. So, pull up. Oh, yes. Little spout. And this screws off. There's a little tab in here. This is how you know it's from Germany. <laughs> they put so much stuff in here to make sure it's all sealed up properly and everything. It's also green already. Oh, there's the green oil. You guys can see the remnants of, of green on that cap. It's also on my finger already. I think yeah, there's some right there and there. All right, well, I honestly don't even know if I can reach my finger down in there to grab it. If I'm being honest, I wonder if I can push this down in and then, because um, you can reseal these, which is awesome they let you do that. So push that back down in and then just unscrew it. I can. And then I can dip my finger in it. I, 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 I got it. It's green. It's really cool. It's green. No flashlight. That's not the color of the bottle. That's the color of the oil. It's super cool. So go ahead and dip my finger in it right quick. It's, it's clear, but it's green. It's like a clear green. Like you can see the green hint on it. Look now, you can see the green on the filter. That's super cool. That's super, it's like clear, but it's like, you can see like a green haze to it. I don't know if you guys can see it in the camera, but I can see it in person. Um, that's, that's exciting. So let's go ahead and throw this oil filter on. Let me dry my finger off real quick and put this cap back on. So uh, yeah. That's super cool. So you have a spout to pour it in with, and you also can just take it off like that to dip your finger in the oil. So new Subaru filter going on the Subaru. Going OEM this time. I just like to try a bunch of new things to be honest with you guys. So I know this is probably technically downgrading for a lot of you guys, taking a pure later boss out of a cross truck and putting in that normal Subaru filter, but I enjoy it, I really do. So there's Subaru, let's turn it so that it's tight. All right, that's not turning any more than that. She is in. One more turn check, both hands. Nope, and nope. Hands are a little bit oily, which you know, allows me to not over tighten that. All right, now it's time to get the Molly Gen. 
I just came so close because I'm so excited to just dumping that in and having it goes just go straight into the drain pan because I haven't put the uh, this guy back on yet. 31 foot pounds, 17 millimeter. Um, let's go ahead and throw this back on because I just entirely forgot about it, like completely. Oh, so yep, it's pretty much at a drip now. So let's go ahead and throw it up in there. Make sure it's not cross threading. Holy crap, can I not thread stuff on today? There we go, now it's starting to go on. There we go. Now that I got oil on my hand again because it's still dripping a little bit. Should have cleaned it off before I put this back on. Gosh darn it. All right. All right, so now that everything's back on, let's go ahead and throw the Molly Gen in there. Got the uh, drain plug all torqued up to 31 foot pounds. Uh, all the oil is out. The new filter is in. So you can see up there, the nice blue filter from Subaru. Now it's time to put the Molly Gen in that hole there. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, what's cool about Liquid Molly bottles is it's got this little grip here uh, on the front, which you guys will see in a second because I realize you can't see. So pull this back up and out, unscrew it. It's literally got a pour spout on it. That is so cool. Then you grab that grip and the pour handle. And I'm still gonna want to do a funnel because I don't want, no, I think we'll be okay. I just gotta be skilled. Just gotta be skilled. No, I'm gonna do a funnel. <laughs> I'm gonna do a funnel. For now, just so I can get this thing started, then I'll show you guys the green oil going in. That is the coolest, weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life. It is like fluorescent green. This is also incredibly easy to pour as well. So let that all drain in there. You guys can probably kind of see it right there. I just want to show this to you guys. Oh no, the cap. Oh no, <laughs> that's not good. All right, anyway, look at that. I just missed a lot. That is so cool. All right, we're gonna stop and just go with the funnel. <laughs> that's ending very badly here. All right, since we're doing funnel, I did this angle. So, grab handle and pour. So cool. All right, guys. Well, now we're at 9% on the GoPro. That is officially the second oil change in the books for the cross trek. I did spill quite a bit, um, but it'll be all right. The cross trek actually calls for 5.1 quarts. This is 5.28 US quarts. So I probably missed about a tenth of a quart. So that's that's what I'm going off of. I just checked the dipstick. It's perfect. So let's go ahead and start her up for the first time on Molly Gen. And also, fun fact for you guys. So this is those are those grips I was talking about for you to be able to grab while you're pouring. Um, and that actually, on other Liquid Molly bottles, I just realized it's not on this one, uh, it was an oil change sticker. So you can write the uh, service interval for the next oil change and stick it in your window, which is super cool. But uh, anyway, let's get this automobile on firing. That was really weird. Anyway, let's get this car started. All right, guys, the Crosstrex first startup on Molly Gen. After the engine flush. Honestly, it sounds a lot smoother. I'm just gonna say that right off the bat. Now, obviously that was old oil, but it does sound smoother. I don't see any leaks as of now. Let's take a peek under here real quick. No leaks. All right. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm on low battery now. So I hope you all have an amazing day, and I'll see you in the next one where uh, we're probably going to be doing some stuff with the 944 because I've missed it so much. Like I said, I've got it back on the road now for now. We're, we're always going to say for now, so I don't jinx it. But I'm so happy for that to be back. And now this is running on Liquid Molly. Molly Jen. I'll see you guys next video.
Peace.